Okay, let's call the, the meeting, the Tree Commission meeting for January 1st, 2000, January 2nd, 2018. Or this was an older one. Second of January. <clears throat> um, roll call. I think we do have a quorum. <laughs> It's a little different from when we used to have more to count. Um, approval of the agenda. I do want to note we need to make the correction at the top. I think, okay, I thought Scott had brought that to, to your attention. I pulled from that other, the older, the first um, email. Do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? Do I have a second? I second. Is there any other discussion or any other corrections we need to make to the agenda? Okay. If not, um, vote. Everybody approved? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> the agenda stands why approved. Feel, why don't you fill apart? Um, approval of the meeting minutes for the 11th of December. Do I have a, um, a motion to approve? Have a second? second. All those in favor? Oh, actually, is there any other discussion or any corrections that need to be made? Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Minutes stand approved. Okay. Um, old business. Tree City update the Arbor Day proclamation. And um, there was a copy of what looks like the draft that was attached to the agenda. And Mike, I believe you were going to... Um, Make some updates to it. Get to do that. No. Well, are you? We could wait until the next, the third Thursday. Right. to be able to so get it approved prior to maybe Arbor Day activity. Was it only 700 acres originally? I think it was more than that. Uh -huh. I thought it was close to 800 originally. Okay. Okay, so do you want to say that transform barren and eroded land into X? Uh, 
recital or what do you want to say? What do you want it to be? I don't want to say A diverse and unique. and unique. Hardwood forest. Hardwood forest. Okay, so is it unique to this area? All right, so protects a diverse and unique hardwood forest. Native to on the Western Highland Rim of Middle Tennessee or hardwood forest of the Off Middle Tennessee. Period. Okay. Okay, then, then how about using land management techniques, including planting over 500,000 trees that transform barren and eroded land into a treasured, diverse, and unique hardwood forest to the Western Highland Rim? Because it says park, so it's like, let's take that out. Well, then maybe But something to the effect, whereas um, this park protects a diverse and unique. But if it's the okay. whole city and not the park, it's the whole area, not just the park. So is the city protecting or... Because if we have another whereas, it seems like that would be a whereas for Arbor Day and right. separate from the whereas dealing with Bowie Nature Center. Park. Sorry. Transform barren and eroded land to a diverse and unique hardwood forest of the well, I'll just yeah. say that. Yeah. That transform barren and eroded land into a diverse and unique hardwood forest of the Western Highland Realm. But that's still about stuff. but that's still about the park though, right? right. No, so we didn't say park. Okay. If that transform barren and eroded land into a diverse and unique hardwood forest of the Western Highland Realm. So you would be removed into a park treasure, treasure gifted to the city. city. Yes. I like that, yeah. Because we're not talking about the, we're talking about Arbor Day, which would be about forests and not lakes. Our trails. Yeah. So if we just say, transform barren and eroded land into a diverse and unique hardwood forest of the Western Highland Realm. Do you like that? I like that. Okay. But now the tree she planted, is that what transformed the land into the hardwood forest? Because most no. of what they planted was loblolly were pines. Loblolly pines. So that's well, I said that what she did, I think, 
it's great to ha make note of that, but another Same bullet or you. another whereas that says, well, what's unique about this community? Okay, so the free the community because that's what we're diverse or the you, no, unique and diverse hardwood forest is talking about this area and not necessarily Bowie Nature Park. No, that's exactly right. Okay, you're right. Yeah. So, so if we said transform barren and eroded land, which gave rise. I would just, did the park, and I would just no, take that, didn't. I would say where is the city of Fairview is located? Uh, uh, due to its location on the western Highland Rim, it gives On the Western Highland Rim. Yeah. And then we'll just add something about a, the redbud tree being. So was anything that Dr. Bowie did, did well, that do anything that to, original, to protect? I think it's good. Or? It's very good because what that what she did was plant trees. She gave the, she started the movement to plant trees, and I How think as far line? as an Arbor Day proclamation, that's a good selling point. Right. Right. But I think that we also probably need to put something else in here that is not about the park, about how you, unique the urban forest, is, the trees are here. Don't really need to have anything about protecting something that protected it, but just the fact that located the whole location of the city what about something to the effect whereas to protect an already unique and diverse I don't I, but it's whole proclamation is Setting aside the state, yeah, maybe it's its own bullet point. In order to protect an already unique and diverse hardwood forest of the western rim. Kind of, it's kind of. We're saying in order to protect, it's almost like there's got to be a link to the original planting. Not necessarily. If we're, if we're setting up this observation of Arbor Day, this proclamation as part of the thought to protect, that's part of the whole reason of having this observation and continuing, maybe to say, in order to protect, yeah, in order to protect the continuing, the continued planting of trees in order to protect, in order to protect the diverse and unique hardwood forest of the Western Highland Realm and continue to enhance, not enhance, and continue to something at Bowie. Continue. I don't think, I don't, I don't I don't think, think that this yeah. needs to tie to Bowie Park. I don't think so. I think I you think have that, that one. Point, it doesn't need to tie to Bowie Yeah, that Park. one okay. point. Then what you said and right up to that continue. If you'll just right up to that was perfect. Okay. So what did you just say? I don't know. <laughs> do do we want to mention anything to the fact that the city is located yeah, in this well, area? Right, yeah. So, so the, the city of Fairview is located. It's, it's located on the desires to protect. Well, we can leave out the protect for just a minute. Okay. Whereas the city of Fairview is located on the western and western Highland Rim. Highland Rim. And within its boundaries contains a unique urban forest. Exactly. That's a separate whereas, right? right. Yeah, this okay. will be its own point. <laughs> its boundaries. Harbors, houses, harbors, contains, cups, and protects. Um, 
and contains within its boundaries a hardwood forest. Diverse and unique. And diverse. Diverse and unique. Somehow I want to make sure that that diverse and unique is, that that's tied to the Highland Rim and not just the location of the city. Getting into kind of well, English I mean, semantics we, If you there. say Fairview is located Western Highland Rim, means a unique Eastern hardwood forest Eastern, it's on the Western Highland Rail. The, the Eastern part. Okay, yes. Hardwood Forest, which is. That would confuse it. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rez, Fairview, located on the Western Highland Rail and within its the boundaries. Power. Where is the city of Fairview, comma, located? On the Western Highland Rim, comma, and located within the boundaries is a un diverse and unique hardwood forest. Yeah, let's say hardwood forest. Okay. Diverse and unique hardwood forest. Okay. How's that? Read it back, cause some I don't, I'm not sure the English is. Sorry. We we'll get the words out. Surely we can get the we can fix okay. the rest of it. <laughs> Whereas, Whereas the city of Fairview, Western Highland Rim. No, that's not right. Okay. And okay. contains within its ban our our. only within the city limits or is it just in the no, area? It's, no, then it's... Then I don't know that contains and it's... A unique and a diverse, unique diverse, and unique and diverse and unique hardwood forest. So you can say located on the western highland rim and within a diverse and unique, unique hardwood, hardwood forest. forest. Diverse and unique. Gotten that sentence. Now, what's it say? <laughs> I think we've got this one out. Okay. Whereas the city of Fairview. Got that one comma, and within. And within. Diverse and unique. Like that? Yeah, we like that. Comma, and next point. <laughs> next point. <laughs> And then we did do that about the redbud tree being the official. Yeah, how do you do that? Uh, where and you has that? designated the redbud bud tree as the official city tree. Won't that work? Yeah. Um, do we want to put I that? Have it as a separate. Well, it'll be its own. It'll point. be its own do list. It located in between the loop, final point. I think. Or closer to the top, or. I put it right under where we just talked about Fairview being. Okay. Okay. I'll agree with all these things trees do. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. there's a lot. But. Reduce crime? Indeed. Hmm. That would be 
I wasn't sure about some of these, but I didn't know what had been discussed previously. I mean, you can knock out a few of those, I guess. Appeal to shoppers, I'm not sure about. That it might be. What about increased pavement life? Well, it keep to cool down, cool oh, down okay. the pavement. That, that yeah, I kind of you know, thought that's what that yeah. meant. I'm okay with those as long as we know what they mean in case someone asks us. Is that all the where is is want to add? Last Friday of April. That, that's what I brought, yeah. yeah so, I'll, I'll so that would be in place of the March 2nd, Correct. 2018. I think is better than having a specific yeah. well calendar date. So well, last Friday in April. I think we have to designate the first week. Which is what is the last Friday in April? To be and then say to be observed or celebrated or whatever. after right. the last Friday in April. Or will always be celebrate the last Friday in April? Yeah. Up this year will be a specific. I think it's the National Arbor Day. It's for yeah. National. yeah. Is it? Is the? It's always the National Arbor Day is always the last Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One in March for the state. That does that one move around? Or? And do we want to say, just so nobody's going to be asking, that the Board of Commissioners of Fairview, Tennessee, do hereby proclaim or proclaim April 7th, 2018, something about it being National Arbor Day? No, but do we want to say something about that we're going to celebrate National Arbor Day instead of the State Arbor Day? I think we're just, yeah, this is for our city Arbor Day proclamation. We just happen to be choosing to celebrate it at the same, on the same time as National Arbor Day. Because a lot of states choose, they just pull right. random dates. Based on dates. everything that we observe. That doesn't necessarily mean that we need to do that. No. Right. I, I, was just, I, was just... I would think it would be better to say this and then say something about that from now on it will be the last Friday of April. I would proclaim the first, first, first time as the 27th. Is that what the date is? Be observed hereafter on the last Friday in April. Last Friday of April. Each year, the last Friday of April. So, what is the process after this? It goes to BOC. Someone's going to type this up. Yeah, make I'll, it. I'll do it tomorrow. And, and Copy the city. Take it to the BOC or does? The mayor will have to rate it. Right. What is the timeline on that today? You've got really one day, right? Linda's already out. Oh. That's why I wondered if we should needed to, you know. Yeah, 
ask that it be added to the agenda. But if it can't, then and somebody have to be at the next meeting. And somebody from the from here will need to be there to proclamation, for lack of a better word. have to have the proclamation as part of becoming a tree city. What is today? Yeah. Not sure I would be able to. I don't know what the turnaround time is to get it. Type it up tomorrow. Can you can just send it to city manager? And could you not send it to copy to the mayor too? I think that Brandy probably has to send her. Okay. Copy Brandy as well. Correct. I think that's probably the entire BOC. <laughs> Things may have changed, I know. Well, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember what proper procedure is. I can find that out, too. Okay, so we're happy with the wording. All the rest of the wording we're going to leave as is, correct? Yes. Including the Bowie Nature Park, other than adding the word over 700 acres. Correct. Copy all of us on I'll it as well. Great. Wonderful. Well. <laughs> After this is goes through BOC, um, how do we? How do you let the community know that there is a proclamation? How does that? Probably get Nancy to put it in the paper. I mean, the minutes of the meeting will be in the paper. But we can but also email something. Or do we want everybody to know? I think when so. we had the um, years ago, when we had the planting deal here. Um, was there a proclamation for an Arbor Day proclamation? That was just our tree tree commission, you know, option to celebrate National Arbor Day. I mean, I realize we're really doing this so that we can. This is the like the last point to get the tree city, um, but it's a unique thing to have that proclamation for this. First, it's. First I think we time. can maybe talk with Nancy and let her know. Um, Part of why it was put up is that we are trying to become a tree city, um, but this is something that we have looked at for several years. And I think we also put it on the Fairview website, social media pages too, about why it was done. And and if we indeed are having something that we're planning to do, that would be a good time to say. I've got a lot Couple of trees of here that day. Well, I won't be here. No, because you'll be at your place and it, and yeah. it rains. Why don't we just have everybody come over there? <laughs> no, there, there'll be too many people there. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. okay. Are Sounds we? Good. All right, that's good. 5.1. Thank you. Good. Okay, 5.2, Bowie Park's landscape design update. The funding to design and planning of a landscape architecture design encompassing the full park system. There's still not been any progress on that. What? Is it there any discussion anywhere on it? I think that 
they've the park board has met. I know that they're getting ready to do some stuff at uh, Veterans Park. Um, but I don't think we've even yet gotten to the point to say we're ready to hire a landscape architect to come up with a the plan. There's been discussions of having combined meetings with everyone involved, but I just don't think we've gotten to that point yet. Okay. Everyone being? The park board, board. The friends of Bowie, the tree okay. committee, everybody. Okay. We need someone that to head that up, or is it just a? I think it's just an internal process. Why don't we take it off and put it back up? What is this, January? Maybe April. Sounds good. Five point three, the landscape codes for planning and review update. Review the updates and changes to the codes. Create a final submittal to the reviewers. I have no idea where the updates are. Are these? I sent past ones that under? were part of the original. There were these were updates that were should have already been incorporated into the landscape manual before it was finalized. So, but you use the design review manual for planning commission, right? Correct. Bible. So, is it the planning commission that? I mean, how is Will finished? Which, which preempts the other? Do the codes not take precedence over the landscape manual? If it's not in the design review manual, followed no matter what. I think my concern has been and continues to be that we work for months coming up with the landscape plan what was covered, who was covered, what had to fall into going by that. One of the major things that's left out I know is the fact that commercial develop, I mean, uh, subdivision developments, that, that concerns me because in our, what we did, that was in there, that if you required a, if you had to bring a plat, is that, was that the term? That if you had to bring a plat approval to the planning commission, then you had to go by the landscape plans. I don't think that's in there. I have a copy of and I know that Jane sent all, what we've been working under for years, Jane sent that to the city right. manager. But that's something that we had worked under that, again, all the information I sent him were, was information that was discussed what? prior to the finalization of the design review manual. I wonder if it would be possible for Will to come, I mean, I, would it be possible for the Planning Commission and the Trade Commission and Will to meet as a joint unit and go through this? There's going to be a change to the design review manual. I'm not sure where it init is initiated, if that's initiated with the Planning Commission or with codes. 
So the city engineer has been going through all the everything make the codes to all try consistent. to to make everything consistent and to try to get everything in order. My concern is that some of the stuff that we worked on that we wanted in those codes and in that design review manual have not been included. But we know that the formula page for replacement of trees is not really I think it's only a suggested thing now and not really anything that can be enforced and that what I understand. I thought that was part of the ordinance yeah. itself. And if it's part of the ordinance. I, I understand, but what we've been told sometime during this process is that it's really not, that it could not be found. Mike Berkeley, and that what you kind of remember? So that's why I have concerns about what's going in that design review manual because we know that, that, yeah. the, that the formula page is not really, it's just a suggestion. There's no, there's no enforcement there. I think we also know that if you're a developer developing subdivisions, that there's, there's, no, there's no rules or regs that you have to do anything. You can plant any kind of, you can plant Bradford pears if you want to. If they want to. So those are the things that I'm concerned that are not where they are, need to be. But isn't that what Will, uh, this last to, yeah. year, I mean, he's been working on this for, and, but he, he gets, and he presents this and says, okay, here's the. Who does he present it to? And, yeah, well. Is he presenting it to the Planning Commission, to the BOC? Can you get with Will and ask him what close means? And the order of who will get to review and or have input the changes prior to them getting All we just keep nagging, say, you know, we need, we just want to make sure that, that we have it documented that we've asked numerous times um, to have input to it prior to the finalization. But who does he report to? And then that's where I think Scott's supposed to be. Well, and, and Jane sent him the. Right before Christmas. But again, what I sent him was. Several what, years back, right? What prior we've been to working under, right? What we've been working under, low these many years. Did he respond? That he received it. What I sent him was, uh, was the design review manual, which should be on the website, city website, and some of the um, suggested changes that we had talked about prior to it. Well, I had st done strike throughs and indicated what we had discussed as part of the tree board. Don't know how comprehensive it was. I just pulled everything I could find. Why don't you ask Scott that as well? Just maybe email Scott and or Will, you know, copy the tree board. Say, you know, this continues to be on our agenda. We have concerns we would like input to the process and or the contents and would like to see it at some point prior to it being approved. Copy well, then. Well, in it to Will and to Scott, so, yeah. And to Brendan Butler. That way we can at least, again, all we, we may only be able to document our intent and our questions and our concerns will be documented. That's at least half the battle. Okay, so is there anything else on 5.3 other than maybe all of us 
go back and look through the review manual and see if there's anything else that is missing, either not in conjunction with our ordinance, current ordinance, or that we would like to see put in. I have a copy of the current. It should be on the city website. Yeah, it should be on the city website for anybody to be able to get to. How's that for data? I would think that our landscape architects and our developers would need to access it. Thinking it was at one time, it may, I'm not sure it's. I think it was at one time. You know, Susie might know that. Technology is back. <laughs> we just put that as an item to check on, and if it's not there, let me know and I will send out. We have home business permit application, commercial business permit app. Yard sale ordinance, temporary sign permit app, temporary sign permit application for real estate signs, application for commercial business, peddler's permit, application, commercial building permit application. Search for design. Design review manual. It is on the website. Density worksheet is also on the, but can it be enforced? Well, that's yeah. That's some reason I have two thousand seven. Some reason I thought we we had brought the density worksheet up a year or two ago, and because it was not part of the ordinance, and it was voted on to add it. Some capacity, I would have to look back the minutes. Like it was discussed and. But what happened after it was voted? You're talking about this board voted on it. No, I'm thinking that it actually went. To the BOC? I'm thinking to become part of it. Whether or not it actually. I remember Wayne Hall take it, was going to take. I think that Wayne Hall said. Go back and look at minutes yeah. for that. Long time ago. Right, that might be something he was, right. It might be something he was planning to incorporate into visions. Okay, so is that all we need to talk about right now for 5.3? 5.4, the procedures for documentation review update. We have updated information from the Planning Commission oh. regarding landscape approvals. Of the plans are indeed checked off, quote unquote, by um, by the the city director. We 
Code's he's blanking on him. He's a code he's inspector. He's an actual yeah. inspector, code inspector. coming back to you for a second no. time to review it, but it's also not going to anybody else for a second time. It's not like we're being left out on purpose, but isn't this also kind of unfortunately what happened in the transition between EOC and code spokes where individuals were signing off that things weren't according to codes? that raised a lot of community yes. concern. Yes. Well, not special. They're exactly for a second time. Right. I, but I understand your concern that, that instead of someone being able to say, this is my name on this document, I've made a recommendation that a cul-de-sac be wider so a fire truck can turn around. You know, I've made the recommendation, but then if something happens after that subdivision is built and it's not wider, then I'm going to point my finger at somebody else and say, well, they were supposed to have checked that off. I, so I understand. You, you. Like there were some names added to, and I don't remember the whole circumstances, but it was like not a per, the person in charge is the backup person. There was just a lot of controversy. There was a subdivision that, built that, the, that, was, that never met code. And there were all sorts of people signing off on it that really didn't have the authority to sign off on it. Right. And there was never anyone who actually said, I, I didn't catch it. So is part of the discussion for 5.4, or is that the intent of what this was for, to find out the process, which we've been trying right, to find out for 14 years? We discussed last meeting <laughs> is that yeah, it was um, during the staff review, it was the only time that I saw a plan. And many times that plan didn't have landscape on it. So there's a lot of plans that have gone through planning commission right on up top, and I never saw a landscape plan. Or a tree list. Tree list or anything. So. And I'm not saying that, that that has to be. What used to happen was that I did get called in to look at the final, and say yes, no, yes, no on it um, before it moved on. I'm not and, sure who that, has the authority to suggest or start the process for Yeah. And I think that's what we're talking about, that, that you would feel better if there were process change so that you got you got to see that they actually did the work that you suggested they do. It would be nice to know what happened to the process that was in place. It was back during Don LeBourne's That Don time. came up with and why and that process My changed opinion. and who changed that process. It would be nice to, and if it may be there's documentation of when and how that happened, but there may not be. Maybe one of those things that. Something different now is that you have a city planner control over that. Um, there's been a couple of discussions about, you know, just give me a call and I can come by City Hall. You know, so, her. So, I would say she's the one that has, Kristen is the one that has the control over it. Correct. That. Yeah. So. Could we maybe just make a formal notice of concern that we would like to know what the process is as a tree commission and to be able to meet our obligations of our ordinance? process is? I, I think, yes, you can. See, I guess, see, and just put it out on the table, I, see, my, I'm just confused. Why am I been asked to be at the initial meeting 
of the staff review meeting where these guys, uh, developers, are coming in with their, you know, and a lot of it's stuff that has nothing to do with the urban forest, but um, when it does, I think on the last meeting I talked about um, a couple of the subdivisions where they were offering to put in street trees, not required to, but they were putting in street trees. And the only thing I can say is that, well, you do have an approved tree list to go by, the city does. That's the last word for that particular development. So, you know, it's my understanding you were asked to come to try to provide some preliminary information prior to their providing the landscape plan. I mean, that was my understanding because that way they could take care of it before they got the plan to go to the planning commission and the tree, book, tree to commission save the, to, to save, save them a, time. a month or two, right. you yeah. know, of having to go Please. back because if they had known to begin with, they could have made those choices or changes. But it sounds like it's coming there and ending there. Or it's my, my role. And we're not seeing... I haven't seen anything at the tree commission in months that I'm aware of. According to what the city engineer stated, I believe at a planning commission meeting, I'm not sure that's where it was. I was watching the planning, and I think that's where it was. That the 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 tree, according to what I remember, the city engineer saying, the tree commission's job was to come up with the Arbor Day to come up with what they would like for the ordinance to be and not enforcement. My concern is, has been, is, and continues to be, okay, that's all well and good, but is it being enforced? So, Maybe we should invite the engineer and the city manager to our next meeting. Um, should we also maybe invite the city attorney? I mean, do they, is that not who, they not have some say so in what is enforceable and what is not enforceable? Well, not until, this, you there's know, a, there's a difference between, this is a munip municipal ordinance, it's not just a city codes. That does not negate, in my mind, the fact that it needs to come to the Tree Commission. I just don't see how... There, I see no point in having a Tree Commission if, if well, all we do is been, meet and yeah, never we, see anything. We've had this discussion for... Years, yeah. I just can't see, and all due respect to, to those people, but I can't... That's, and, and that has nothing to do with the planning commission. That's just, or right. any, it's right. just, right. you know, I, I, I I'm have. Not, I've not been here from the beginning, but I'm not sure the intent of even creating a tree commission was just for advisory, but nobody had to pay attention to it if they didn't. Well, I that, agree. That, yeah. And, and I think. I think that's what our basic concern is. How can the city planner enforce any kind of ordinance if, according to what we're being told, there is no landscape ordinance? So what is it she's enforcing other than the tree list? I, so I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And maybe it would be good to have the city engineer invite the city manager and the city engineer. Let's just... Let's the city planner, too. 
start with the I, the city planning reports to the city manager. So I would invite the city manager and Will, who's putting together the the book, right. and ask him to show us what's in the book. In all the years that I've been doing this in the city and been on this board, I've never seen a city engineer be represented here. A city manager has, at least one. Definitely not the, a new city planner. This is, but we have to keep the tree commission to be tree city. Right. right. Ad hoc, is but that I think how you say it? In reading it in the past, there are things that we definitely read, and the way we interpreted it is more than what the BOC or anybody else wants to say exists. That's just my interpretation. I mean, and I may be totally wrong, but it just sounds like there's more in the tree ordinance than any of the other groups are willing to acknowledge. I, I, I don't know how else to say that. I, I agree. And I truly think what has happened is that when we would amend stuff and change stuff and then we, we would vote on it and send it up to the BOC, BOC never voted on it. So all this stuff that we sent up that we thought was passed and part of the procedure was never even voted on. We worked a long time on all that. I agree. I know. I, I, and so I think that we just need to make sure that the intent of what was originally there remains the intent put in the proper places so that it's going to be part of the code. I mean, I... I, I so that's why I think if we meet with the city manager, we meet with the city engineer, that it might help. March. And I'm just looking for example, it says to review and hear applications for and determine by vote the granting or denial of permits, regulating the planting. I mean, to me, that is our duty right there. Appeals to the tree commission decisions can be made to the BOC. And I think we've argued this before is that we would put. Okay, the next meeting is February the 6th. I will not be here, but I don't have to be here. Yeah, we would no, like I think here. you need to be yeah. here. Well, that's the week of my big event, so. I, I think we need to get it done. Um, when does the Planning Commission meet in February? I could be here the 12th. Uh, Tuesday. I can certainly mark that off and, you know, try to keep it open. Talking, what's, what date? It'd be February. Call us. There's no reason we can't call a special meeting. Look very good. So we'll have a meeting, another meeting on the sixth before that. So 
we're going to have a meeting on the regular 6th. Regular scheduled meeting on regular the 6th, meeting unless on the we 6th. want to move it to the 12th. Well, I see what you're saying. So yeah, I will not, that, the 6th, I will not be here. Is there something more important? I mean, we can, we can ask if there's nothing on the, the city's calendar that we can ask to move it to the 12th. with Scott, on, um, Scott McCoy on that too. Fun. Start at six. I can be here at six. Start early. But you're going to have the city planner, but you're not having her here as well. No. <clears throat> well, Will lives in Murfreesboro. Started at six. That's fine with me. Check with Scott McCoy and see if he's got any objections. I'm usually off that day anyway. I know. I'm usually off the Monday after the, the okay. event. At the, okay. Yes. I'm usually still sitting on the couch thinking, who am I and where am I and how did I get here? Okay, now do we need to make a motion to move the date? Formally? Process for documentation of review. Okay, between not, I guess, as soon as <laughs> the only reason I'm going into work tomorrow is to run payroll. It's wow. Theoretically, who is that? Have a second on that? I think you can second that. I second that? I okay. So. Never know what I can second and what I, I can second. I think you can second that. I'll second that motion then. Is there any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Approve and, and Christy will follow up with that. Okay. One of these days we will understand the process and, and what what our part is. I thought I understood. It, it seems to be evolving away from us, and I think it would be good if we back. Okay, 5.5 .5, City Hall planting and tree replacements. Was I supposed to, it was something that either myself, you or myself, are going to contact Scott about. That me? That's me. Oh, I dropped the ball. I'm sorry. It was something that's holiday season. I'll, I'll do. I'll call tomorrow. Okay. So keep this on the agenda till next. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ground's too frozen to dig anyway. So. And I think there's something in the previous minutes that there might be some discussion about part of maybe Arbor Day or trying to do some additional planting around City Hall. I thought I remember reading something. The red dead, the, 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 the dead, dead weeping, weeping tree. The weeping yeah. red, red bud needs to be replaced, but they but adding on at least three more trees, three other red buds. Because you know, if you have all those red buds out there, the last Friday of April they could be in full bloom. 
getting those in will make one that's you're removing because oh, yeah. it's dead. Yeah, it's it's a nub. It can. I can have the nub, right? Not my. <laughs> Why do you want the nub? It blooms. Really? <laughs> if if. I think if, that's, if nobody else wants it, I think that's I'll take up the to the city. I can't. If nobody else wants the nub, rather than nub. just throw it away, I'll take the nub. Calling it the nub just kind of. <laughs> it kind of makes it. You already it's said it won't get any taller, and that get, makes no, me happy, it's waste, and but it's, it'll still bloom. Why won't it not get taller? You know what? Oh. You know what? I have to tell you, I have <laughs> saved some of those kind of trees when it, that happens. <laughs> And they they come up and they go straight out like that, like a ground cover. Really, foot put tall, that, so. crazy looking, but it's not a tree. <laughs> That's okay. I've got a place for a nub. Sure, <laughs> place for a nub. I love it. It's like fostering at dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else on five point five, Mike? You're going to follow up on that? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm sorry. Do we have any new business? A okay, staff review meeting update. I did not go to one this month. I didn't. No one said anything about it. Was there a staff review meeting? It was on the calendar. Very informal. So, and do some permit. So they are adding landscape plants. Well, um, there are lands there are landscape plants already there, and they're going to try not to disturb them oh. um, because I don't think that's what. Not disturb the landscaping. Anything that needs. So if they're going to replace any. Whatever, they would just put a new one over there. Well, can they do that if there's an approved shrub list or know. tree list? Question for. Because their shrubs currently aren't on the approved list? I would bet they're not. Oh, okay. How the planning commission knows that you put a plant in a commercial site, even if it's a replacement, it has to be. Who sends out invites to the staff review meeting? They publish it and then so publish now for the full year. And of time, what you guys are discussing. Yeah. But so how are you notified? Uh, you, uh, you just Kristen would you, usually she sends out a email oh, just like okay. Scott will do for this meeting and say, okay, we got this is the agenda. And, but I didn't get any this month, so. Follow up with Kristen to find. They fired me. I mean, <laughs> they did not tell us. Saving that, a so. lot of money, I tell you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Might be something to just kind of watch for to make sure, okay, that, make sure that everybody copied. that is copied should be copied on the email or copied on the email. 
Okay, update on tree bank funds. Anything from update? No update. Still the same or you just still the same. Know? There's been okay. no, nothing spent out of that. Nothing added, nothing nothing spent. added, nothing spent. Have you had anything added? Tree planting would come out of that. Right, but there's been no developments where they're having to add to the tree no. bank. The money in from the new medical center? This is only commercial, right? Okay, we can hope. <laughs> okay, so we're right around, I think last month it's just like right around a hundred and quite that much. Recent balance. Yeah, I've just been told. That would know for sure. Tom, is that? Check with Tom Doherty and just double check. Uh, but we should be pulling some interest just to, just to better update of where we are. And they also have now the new software so that you can go on the website. Really? To the Fairview City uh, website? It should be yeah. up and running. And do you know where it would be? On, what's it under? Or financial? or? Uh, I, I think that they told us at the last meeting they were going to post it financials all the time but there are um, so if if not now soon able to go in and see all those great thank you Are there any citizen comments? Or if it's in your minutes, can you just attach them? <laughs> if it's in the Planning Commission minutes, can you just attach them? Just take it as an excerpt from the, rather than attach the entire set of minutes. Right, yes. Okay. Are there any other comments? If not the next tree commission is ending confirmation on February 12th, 6 p.m. with city engineer and city manager. That once we firm that up, get that information to Brandy so she can post it as well. Okay, if not, this meeting is adjourned at, clock is wrong, I was it's like, wrong. yes, it's what, yes, it's 8 15. <laughs> I was trying not to panic here, looking yes. up at saying 10 15, it's like, I know we did not talk the that long. The clock just says well, whatever time it wants to say. It's, it's two hours. And sometimes it